welcome back. I am in our food forest backyard garden area today. And like we told you before, we have some changes going on back here. Actually kind of some big changes. We have been having it as a food forest type garden. So we had our fruit trees and our comfrey. We had our berries, but we also had annual vegetables planted throughout. And now that everything's getting a little more established, and now that we have the market garden out front, we have decided to turn this area into more of a park-like orchard space. So the garden beds are going out. Um, we're gonna keep all the fruit trees, the berries, of course, all the comfrey. And uh, we're gonna make this kind of a park setting, maybe put a bench back here. Still kind of in the planning process. If you have any good ideas, let us know. It's going to be an area where we can just come out and enjoy it. We'll still have all the fruit growing and out front is the space that we'll use for our vegetables and all of our annual growing. So there are a few reasons we've decided to make this change. For one, with the tunnel out front, you guys have seen the success that we've had this year in our market style garden that we have. Um, we've just been able to really produce a lot of food out there and we're really happy with the results. Um, we've got food growing back here too. You can see behind me we've got the green beans. They're still doing pretty well. But if I'm being completely honest, this area tends to get a little neglected. For one, the front area we're out there spending a bunch of time. And two, just the layout of this garden, it makes it, makes it a little harder to keep it weeded and taken care of the way we would like. Um, so we're really just looking for something that's a little easier to manicure, easier to keep clean, and really just a really nice area where we can sit and relax and enjoy nature. I'll show you the ugly. So right below all those great green beans that are growing is all the grass that's just kind of grown up. And I mean, I know that's natural, but we just would like it to look a little better. So we're wanting to change this area, something that we can keep a little more cleaned up, kind of pretty. Um, especially with, you know, like I said, we already have the other production going on out front, so we feel like we'll not be missing out there. Another good reason is our fruit trees have really started taking off back here. So they're no longer in that stage of like tiny little trees that you might get one or two apples. like. That thing's huge and it's producing really well. So a bunch of the trees are a lot more established. The berry bushes are established. Um, and we just kind of really want to let this area be our orchard, kind of a peaceful area, something that's easy to keep manicured and clean. And a place where we can come outside and enjoy it. Watch those ladies run around a little bit. It's a chicken dog. Did you decide to take over the old coop? Is it comfortable? Do you like it in there? So let's do a little walk through of the space and show you what we have and what's staying. This giant thing right here is my elderberry. It definitely stays. That arbor right there has some grapes growing on it, but they weren't doing very well, so we pulled them out. We'll probably replace some, but at this moment they're not here. We have a hazelnut on each side of that arbor. Not producing just yet. They're just barely been in, but soon, hopefully. <laughs> right here we have raspberry bushes and honeyberry bushes, and they will stay. Of course the comfrey, you guys know we love that. Here is one of our two pawpaw trees. Also still waiting on the first fruit of that, but soon, hopefully. <laughs> we did get some flowers this year. So hopefully that means that we'll be having some pop-off fruit before long. We have a fig right here. And another fig there. This little mess going back this way is our blackberries. And then we let mint just grow at the bottom of it and ground cover. It's a little out of control at the moment, but we'll get that all cleaned up. The mint works perfectly because I don't mind it as ground cover everywhere. and. It really attracts the bees. 
so that works for me too. <laughs> so that goes all along this. This was some of that garden space. And we'll just be covering that with some ground cover here. Get the ground covered up again. We're just growing where we can just kind of mow and take care of it. There's our second pawpaw tree. And more comfrey and a pear. Back in here we have a wild plum. That is a little wild. We might need to do some trimming on that. So these are the trellises where we've had peppers and tomatoes and right now green beans growing. Those will be coming out. And I'm not sure if we'll use the cattle panels again in any other way for some arches or something. It hasn't been decided yet. Right now the green beans are still producing so we'll let them finish up before we pull it out. There's that solar panel. So we have all of our power for our barn is hooked up to that. There's another pair. Here's the second cattle panel which will also come out right now. It's got peppers on it. A few tomatoes that have really, they're about done. They need to come out. Big Arkansas black apple tree. Very well established. <laughs> Another Arkansas black nectarine back here in that corner. And here's some of that mess I was talking about of why we're going to pull a bunch of this out. Just be able to keep this cleaned up a little better, put a park bench or something back here, maybe a swing, I don't know yet, we can enjoy. It's my goji berry looking a little rough, but producing some berries for us. So all of those fruit trees, all the berries, they'll stay. We obviously have a lot of work to do. We'll get this going. And our last apple tree back here in this corner. Seen better days, heat of summer. We've already harvested all the apples off that one. So yeah, we're just in the very beginning stages of planning this. Um, with all the success we've had up front, we're just really happy with that. That's where we're gonna focus our annual growing. The tunnel has made a world of difference in what we've been able to produce this year. So, and with everything getting so established back here, we've decided to just focus this on a park, an orchard. Um, in the very beginning stages, like I said, of planting, so if you guys have any ideas of what would be great pollinators to plant out here, any other fruit, berries, let us know and uh, swings, benches, whatever. <laughs> I want to make this a space where we can enjoy that's really pretty. We have a lot of work ahead of us and that's okay. Change is kind of what we do all the time. <laughs> Look, we have two chicken dogs. You guys just decided to take over the coop? Did you make it your new dog house? Yeah? Is that what you did? Right? Hi, chicken dog. Okay guys, so excited. After I said bye to y'all and everything, I came out and looked at this hazelnut tree again, and we have five hazelnuts. I'm so excited. It's not very many, but it's the first year that we're gonna have any, so yay. 